guys welcome back to my channel it's been some time i've just been chilling throughout my whole pregnancy but i thought i would come to you guys with a little mini haul i went to the spiritual shop because everything's been closed because of you know everything that's been going on so everything's been closed so Finally, the stores have opened, and I finally went there, and Kwame bought me some stuff, so I am going to, yes, Peanut, I am going to show you guys quickly what I got, I'm out of breath already, what, Peanut? Okay, so the first thing I got is, I got three Palo Santo sticks. These were three for five, if I'm not mistaken. So I'm going to light some after. I also got... A thing of sage. This is just a regular sage. So I'm going to light this after two. I also got one more sage the train of course the train is passing i also got the dragon blood sage i like the dragon blood sage smell better than the regular one so i'm gonna light one of those after and then i got four books I'm gonna be home for like a year and a half, two years. So, I can do a lot of reading when I'm on my maternity leave. Also, Kwame got this winter green organic essential oil to put in our humidifier air purifier whatever that's called so we got that so the first book that i got is juliet diaz witchery embrace the witch within this is what it looks like and this one was 23 dollars. i'm not even sure what it's about i just picked it up because i liked the cover so i picked things up based on the cover and if i think it looks interesting So if I just quickly look over, I see some spells in there that you can do. A little bit of reading, some spells. What else? Okay, the author explains how to cast off what doesn't serve you, unleash your authentic self, and become an embodiment of your truth. You'll also learn the skills, techniques you need to build your own magical craft. Connect with the power of your inner witch. Create spells, potions, rituals for love, protection, healing, manifestation, and more. Amplify your energy by working with a book of shadows. Create an altar decorated according to the seasons. Work with the moon and the seasons of the witch. Connect with your ancestors to receive their wisdom. So I have been really slacking on my journey i guess you would say with witchcraft wicca it's been a couple months since i've really been into it and because i just recently moved everything's still packed so i'm in the process of still unpacking and i'm gonna get back into it so that's why i got a whole bunch of new books and i still haven't read even some of the books that i have now because i just haven't been really focused on as much as i want to be Next book I have is Light Magic for Dark Times by Lisa Marie Basil. I think that's how you say the last name. More than 100 spells, rituals, and practices for coping in a crisis. So this is what it looks like. And this one was $30. And this one, I think it's just... It might just be spells. 
do some reading. There's some reading, there's some spells that tells you like what material you should get and how to perform so far from what I'm seeing briefly. Okay. I got some reading to do. If you know me, you know that I love to read since like forever. So that's why I'm obsessed with like getting books. I got another book. It's The Daily Spell Journal, A Diary of Enchantments for Every Day of the Year by Patty Wigginton. Wigginton? I don't know how to pronounce the last name either. This book was $20. So the author is a Wicca expert and author. It gives you an entire year of easy spells that span every season for everything from prosperity, love, and harmony to good luck, strength, and inner peace. There's also space to write inside this book and add your own notes or whatever. Okay, so from this one, this is what the cover looks like. It's like gold. You can put your name here. Hmm. Introduction. Okay, so basically, for example, there's a spell for every day. And then you can write notes on the bottom. So there's a spell for every day of the year. All the ways. And then there's space to write notes in the back. Okay. So basically every day you're supposed to do one of these spells. So I'm going to look into this. Also, I need to purchase like supplies for spell work. But that's a whole another issue. And then last but not least, I got another book. Spell work for self-care. 40 spells to soothe the spirit. This is what it looks like. And this was $17. Sprinkle magic into your self-care routine to honor the divine creature within. And this is by... The trade's passing again. Maybe it's Clarkson Potter? I'm not sure. So these are spells for self-care. So there's a whole bunch of different things. Let's see. Like chapter one is the basics. They have travel safely spell, protect yourself from harm, set psychic boundaries, love yourself spell, gain confidence, make new friends. I really like this picture. So yeah, this book is all about spell work for self-care. That is the last thing that I've gotten, that I got from the spiritual store. It's been a while since I went there because everything's been closed. And they have so much new stuff that they didn't have before. So now I really, I need to go back soon. I'm probably going to go back next week. But yeah. That's it for my little haul that I wanted to show you guys. I'll see you in my next video. Peace.